Hello everybody, my name is Tom, and today I'll be cooking fava beans with sun-dried tomatoes, garlic, and anchovies. This is a dish I wanted to make because it's simple, it's fast, it can be served as a side for a large group of people, or as a really substantial meal in and of itself. Today we are making fava beans, the humble fava bean. It's a summer bean. You can get them fresh May through October. If you're lucky and you live in a farm community, it might last a little longer. They're dried, called broad beans often. And uh, it's just a nice substantial bean. Somebody told me that it was the meatiest bean they've ever eaten. So we are going to blanch a handful of these fava beans. I have already blanched off a large volume of them. I bought a five pound bag, which yielded probably about four cups worth of fava beans, four to five cups. We'll blanch a few just to demonstrate how you do something like that. So I'm gonna get some salted water boiling. And this is very salty water, like the ocean. It took me a good half hour to peel the five pound bags, so put on an episode of your favorite TV show and get comfortable. And then once you blanch the beans, we'll peel a thick skin off them. When you buy dried fava beans or broad beans, the skin will usually be on them, so your preliminary soak the skin will loosen up and you can peel it off at that point before you do your full cook. And fresh, they really hardly take any time to cook at all. It'll be two minutes blanching, but really they're good to eat after about five minutes of heat. So we have all of our peeled beans here. And like I said, this is just a small demo to show you how we're gonna cook them off. And I've got my water boiling. And while we're waiting for that, I'm going to slice up a few cherry tomatoes here. These are gonna be roasted and mixed in with the beans as we cook. So I've got my sizzle platter here that I'm just gonna coat with oil. These cherry tomatoes are gonna have a nice blistery skin on top. So we'll half them and place them skin side up, like so. And just put them under the broiler at a very high heat. We're not really trying to cook the tomato, we're just trying to burn the skin. And this is going to add a nice flavor and color to your big bowl of green beans here. It looks like we've got our water boiling for our beans to blanch. So I'll throw these in here. And when you're blanching, you want to have a large water to vegetable ratio so that when you dump your vegetables in there, the water doesn't lose much of its temperature. Because as with these tomatoes, we're not really trying to cook them through fully. This is just a nice kind of warm up to tenderize them. These fava beans should take about two minutes to become tender. And I have a bowl of ice water on hand to shock them, to stop the cook. And this maintains a nice green color as well. So while those are cooking, we'll top our tomatoes with a nice coating of olive oil. And this will make sure that they blister up really nicely. This oil is going to get so hot under the broiler and really evenly char our tomato skin. And it's all aesthetic, but it makes a difference. So I'm gonna throw these right under the broiler here. 
We're gonna try not to forget about them. So our beans are nearly done and I'm going to start mincing our garlic, sun-dried tomato and anchovy. And this is what's flavoring our beans. We're gonna saute this up and add it to the beans before we roast them. I think we're probably at about two minutes on these favas, so why don't I shock them right now? Here's our ice water. Wait for it. Here's our ice water here. So now we have our blanched fava beans and we have to peel this thick skin off them. Now, sometimes I'll take a knife to give it kind of a head start and just break through the skin. But as you can see, it comes off very easily, like so. Just discard that. And we'll add these blanched beans to our big batch here. Once you get the hang of it, you can just use your fingernail. But if you prefer a paring knife, more power to you. Now we have our pan heating up and we're gonna start mincing our seasoning. I have a little bit of garlic. Anchovies. All right. Do about equal parts garlic, anchovy, and sun-dried tomato. And this looks like about two tablespoons. And this is for our five cups of fava beans. We're gonna just mince this up until it is indecipherable. It's just delicious, salty goodness. So I salted the water when I blanched the beans and that'll add a good amount of salt content. And then I'm using quite a bit of anchovy. So I'm not going to add any additional salt when I'm cooking this. Because between the anchovy and the sun-dried tomato and the blanched beans, this should be plenty salty all by itself here. So here we go, it's just a little olive oil. And now we add all of our goodness here. And we're just gonna get this going a little bit. Get it sizzling. I'm gonna reduce our temperature a little. We'll be deglazing this as well, so don't worry if it gets a little sticky in your pan. That's all flavor. So sun-dried tomatoes, anchovies, they're dry, they're salty. It's something that's traditionally just been used as a seasoning in your pantry. It's more flavorful than just salt. It adds a lot more body to your dish. And I recommend doing that in places you wouldn't otherwise think to. Anytime something calls for salt, Consider an anchovy. You'd be pleasantly surprised. Unless it's salted caramel ice cream. Better check on these tomatoes. Oh yeah! Nice and black on top, blistery skin. Those couldn't have come out any better. So we'll add those at the last minute. Now here we've got everything sauteing. I'm gonna throw these beans in on top of this trinity of salty Italian stuff. And these we're looking for a little bit of color on. Just get everything nice and incorporated. And we'll just let those kind of brown 
for a moment. So we've sauteed our sun-dried tomatoes, anchovies, and garlic, and added our fava beans, which we blanched. Now that we've got a little color on the fava beans, I'm going to add the broiled tomatoes, which will be our initial deglaze. The little bit of liquid we have in here ought to unstick some of this nice caramelized garlic and anchovy. And then shortly thereafter, we're gonna throw some chicken broth into this pan. This broth is another reason I won't be adding any additional salt to this dish. It's probably only about four ounces I poured in here, just enough to deglaze and give it a little bit of liquid. And now we'll just let this simmer for a few minutes. This is a dish I wanted to make because it's simple, it's fast, it can be served as a side for a large group of people or as a really substantial meal in and of itself. Now we've got some beautiful color coating all of the beans. Everything's really come together. The beans are still nice and firm, not mushy. And all of our delicious minced flavorings have kind of homogenized into just a beautiful, salty mess. <laughs> now these I blanched for only two minutes and I think they could use another few minutes on the range. So I'm gonna add a little bit more broth so we don't cook down all of our seasoning. We'll let it simmer for five minutes or so. This is a good dish to finish off in the oven, in a casserole dish, if you're feeling so inclined. Fava beans, I wouldn't necessarily say they have a bad rap, but what do you know about them, honestly? And it's a delicious bean, it's underrated, they're popular all over the world. Americans need to wise up, plain and simple. All right, these beans are through cooking, so I'm going to gingerly transport them into a casserole dish here. Here we go, pinkies out. Those beautiful blistered tomatoes add such a nice color to the dish. This is really a world-class bowl of beans. All right, here's our finished product. Mm-hmm. It's fragrant. It's robust. The sun-dried tomatoes and the garlic add so many layers of flavor to a humble bean, to just a simple bean. It's quite fantastic. And I thank you for cooking with me. I hope you enjoy them as much as I do. Muchisimas gracias. And I hope that you join me for our next culinary adventure. There may or may not be more anchovies involved. Okay, anything else you wanna say about anything? <clears throat> uh, this table is brought to you by Ikea. Thank you for sponsoring us. <laughs> I think we're done. <laughs> <laughs>